Hey pals, this is Ian, game designer and artist for Crimson Keep. Uh, as always, I'm going to show some uh, updates on the game and where we've been going with it. So here's a, a test monster for looking at uh, locational damage and ragdoll setup. So I'll be manually placing these and moving them around as we go on uh, different uh, monsters and uh, this will allow for us to check where you where the player hits a monster so if you look in the bottom left here when I hit the head it says ow my head <clears throat> and it also goes into ragdoll at a certain point in the animation. The, uh, the collider that we use for movement around the terrain uh, doesn't move with that ragdoll yet. Oh. We'll work on that. So now monsters, once I have these set up for each enemy, will uh, you know, naturally roll down a hill or whatever. We have a new enemy here called the Pigman Warrior that uses an ability that the player has uh, that you just saw him use there, which is called Gorge, where he eats a corpse, except it's different for the Pigman uh, because when they eat a corpse, they're, they do higher damage afterwards. Now, there's a little bug where sometimes they stop following you or stop attacking you uh, after they eat a corpse, which is happening right now. But the idea is that uh, some of the abilities and characteristics of different monsters, uh, when you fight them as a group, uh, it'll make it so that you want to kill certain ones first, right? So if the pig man's in a big group and you kill all the little things, all the little monsters first, and it eats them all, it's going to be much more dangerous than... Uh, if you had killed the pigman warrior first. We have a couple other new monsters here. These are tar golems. <coughs> Let me try and... <coughs> oh, I got slow. <coughs> and I died. <laughs> we now uh, reset the map when you die, so that actually helps. I can, I can show that over. <coughs> See if the pig man uh, is bugged again this time. <coughs> See, he attacked me this time. So sometimes it's bugged, sometimes it's not. And if he hits me, he hit me just then. He hit me really hard. He hit me harder than normal because he buffed himself. And I think it heals him too. He doesn't have a ragdoll yet, because we need to set it up for each monster. So, let's see if I can do this a little bit better. I want to try and show off... Oh, I need to heal first. <coughs> uh, I want to show off what these do. These tar golems, what they, they, they're fast, small, so they're a little hard to hit. Uh, they, don't do, they don't do a huge amount of damage. But when they hit you, uh, like the tar gets onto you and uh, reduces your movement and attack speed. So it increases the cooldown between your swings. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going <coughs> to, I can't charge. Oh, I'll use my super high damage ability then. On this <coughs> <coughs> Well, I died, but... Mm. 
<laughs> wow. I always seem to play worse while I'm on when I'm recording. Let me try and kill these guys one more time. So then I just hit this guy with uh, Icebreaker, which slowed his movement a little bit. I may need to increase the, the length of the debuff though. Mm. All right, I'm going into the next fight with full health this time. I have another skill here uh, called Metal Skin that uh, reduces damage taken uh, while it's active. Just, I think 10 seconds or so. <laughs> anyway, we made some uh some new enemies. We're just gonna keep working on stuff. So thanks for watching.